Hi, I'm Kim Skates, Membership Relations Manager at Central Houston. I'm here today with Robert Cramp, business researcher extraordinaire. Robert, it's great to see you today. Uh, Robert, I understand that four times a year you put out this amazing report with all of the data and all the stats and anything that anybody wants to know about downtown Houston. So now that Q3 has wrapped up, what can you tell us? Actually, I can tell you a lot, but for the sake of purposes, I'm going to hit just the high notes. Some great things going on with the office market. As a result, renovations are coming online in about 14 buildings downtown. Renovations also coming in line with our hotels and new meeting space and virtual convention space, so to speak. And then at the same time, we've got a new residential office or residential uh, tower under construction. And that's going to be really kind of a game changer in terms of the quality of downtown living. Good. So let's talk about office first. That's the big one. Uh, what's going on specifically in office? That's going to be important. It's going to be important to get Houston office workers back downtown to make sure we all feel safe in our work environments at the same time that they are quality work environments given the new surroundings of social distancing and those kinds of things. The upside is that of the 12.8 million square feet that's being renovated, all of it now should be done by the end of the year. And that accelerated construction schedule it has been possible as a result of a lot of working from home over the summer and into the fall. That's great. Um, can you show us what it might look like? I can. Uh, actually, happy to. Let me do a screen share real quick. Uh, this is the building, particularly U2 Houston Center. And this is the corner of Fannin and McKinney. The up side of the picture is what it looked like before. And the new side down below is how the building has been opened up onto the streetscape. streetscape. It's very light, very bright, brings people in from the streets and into the building. And as a result, uh, here at 2 Houston Center, this is our home for Central Houston Inc. and as well as the uh, downtown district. One more example on this, how the buildings themselves are able to bring tenants, occupants, visitors out into a green space, open air environment, work collaboratively, enjoy a light coffee or a bite to eat, and at the same time be able to regenerate and then go back up into their office buildings and their space. And that looks like a spiral staircase right, right there. Is that right? Yes, it is. And if you can see, it connects not just from a sky bridge, but also from an upper tier to a lower tier so that you've got multiple layers of outdoor uh, green environment. And, and, and outdoor space. Very nice. And they think this one's going to be done when? By the end of the year. Great. That's pretty cool. Um, so moving away from some of the office development, what's going on in hospitality? Hospitality. Let me go ahead and move on to uh, what we're seeing in terms of meeting space. Uh, the Hilton America's completed a $64 million renovation over the summer. That includes not just this meeting space, which comprises a lot of new square feet, but also their rooms, their guest rooms. And so going forward, the Hilton Americas, which is connected to the George R. Brown Convention Center, which also unveiled a 5,200 square foot, uh, what they're calling uh, essentially a virtual um, events studio. So that allows them to broadcast from the George R. Brown bring in guests, host events, host panel discussions, virtually maintaining social distance as they need to, but keep use in front and center in terms of convention center uh, and convention attendees. Very smart, very smart. So um, this hybrid okay. style format is gonna be really important going forward. And with one of Houston's largest hotels adjacent to one of Houston's largest convention centers in the heart of downtown, it's kind of a win-win going forward in the new work environments. Very nice. Uh, what about residential? Residential. Well, as you may or may not know, we've got approximately 6,200, 6,300 units downtown. Four properties are currently under construction, which includes uh, Fairfield residentials. Uh, it's about 286 units. 
and that's going to be located at 1810 Main, in addition to the regalia at the ballpark, right literally within a uh, home run from Minute Maid Park, 230 units, Class A. But most importantly, if I can, I'm going to share screen real quick. The Preston, and this is going to be a 46-story high-rise with 373 units. All of them will have balconies, uh, and this is set for completion in 2022. That's amazing. And it's going to be adjacent to, you know, it's going to be very close to Market Square, the historic Market Square, all of the neat uh, shops, restaurants, and so forth, walking distance. It's going to be a really nice addition to the Houston skyline. That's great. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, so there are some other things going on downtown, too, in the innovation space, maybe? Yeah, and the innovation, yeah, the innovation that's interesting because uh, we've seen all kinds of, you know, pro properties have been doing residential uh, virtual property tours for a while, but now we're seeing landlords hop on board. And before I even get a, a little bit ahead of myself, uh, the uh, downtown Launchpad, which is a 17,000 square foot innovation incubator workspace, that unveiled itself, you know, we did the virtual open house just a few weeks ago at the end of September, located in the Amogee on Bank Building, uh, 1801 Main. We're really excited about this. It's gonna be a place to bring entrepreneurs and all kinds of uh, uh, new ideas to Houston to work collaboratively at the same time to be able to help connect them into the greater Houston business community. And so it's really meant to be a one-stop shop on innovation. But on top of that, we're actually seeing uh, where building owners, and let me share my screen one more time. If you can see that here, where even building owners are beginning to do virtual property tours. This is uh, the Esperson building, uh, which is a historic building uh, downtown. But as you can see, we're able to, they're able to bring in various suites that they've got available, the square feet, and so forth. And this has proven to be quite a, a ingenious way of being able to showcase office space at the same time of maintaining social distance and without people having to travel and do property tours. Very smart. Well, thank you for sharing that with us and for all of this great information today. I really appreciate your time. I know our members will too. Um, the third quarter research report will be available on our website. Uh, so we encourage you all to check that out and uh, we'll be back in the beginning of first quarter to talk about our update from fourth quarter. So thank you all for joining us today. Bye. Thank you.